Hey guys, welcome to the channel again with Star Citizen. Yes, with Star Citizen. I know that I criticize it often, but hey, it is the Citizen Con event. I think that key aspect of that word is con. Uh, we have the new patch, so there's a lot going on. So yeah, of course, we're going to talk about this. No, I'm not a hater. I want the game to do very well. No, it is not doing very well. No, I'm not a shill. A shill will lie, deceive. That's the definition of a shill. Look it up in case you don't know English. You should if it's your first language, especially show. So you should know what a shill is. Traditionally, a shill was someone hiding in the crowd, pretending to not be um, uh, related to the business or have a, an interest in it or not, and just pretend to be one of the crowd. Oh, sir, that is an excellent product. May I buy 10 of those? Well, that was a shill. Uh, these days, a shill is just someone that is basically lying about his opinion regarding things simply so as to make you buy stuff. So no, I'm not a shill, I'm not lying, I'm giving you as much of an honest opinion as a human being can. I rather believe I'm kind of critical in some aspects, so no, certainly not a shill, learn your fucking language, uh, people. The other thing, yes, there is an ongoing sales event. In spite of everything, if you want to start playing Star Citizen, this is, funny enough, the best time to do it because 25% discount on the Avenger Titan, which also comes with a, a nice paint, the Iron Weave paint, which I do have. I didn't get it in a promotion, but I have it because it's nice. And a set of armor, which you can use, but once you lose, you don't have any way of reclaiming, which, interestingly enough, has not been presented as a potential solution in this Citizen Con. So, lots of things to not be super happy about. But, if you want to start playing, that would be the pack that I would get. I would also make sure you use the referral code that you have there below. You have mine. Yes, use mine. Don't use an actual shills referral because they're doing <laughs> they're doing just fine, right? They have enough support as it is from uh, the company they're shilling for. So yeah, uh, not my case. So anything that I can eventually end up using to do more content, that is more than welcome if you decide to start playing this thing in spite of everything going wrong with it. And since we're talking about what's going wrong with it, well, it is kind of difficult to play right now because it's so damn broken. I warned you about this before. I told you. It is a disaster in the PTU, and live, it was just thrown here because of the event, and it is terrible. Look, that's a nice set of clothing there. I appreciate that I can have a, a pistol now and reload my magazines. That is all I have, positive <laughs> as of this year. Um, but yes, uh, important advice here. If you're having problems logging in, if you're watching this and you do play Star Citizen in spite of all of the criticism and all of the problems, let me explain. There's nothing you can do. It is very, very bad. As you sign in in the launcher, you see a warning there already. Don't go to Spectrum looking for magical solutions. There are none. Don't mess your, with your PC. Don't mess with your software. You will just break things and make everything worse. Trust me on this. I know what I'm talking about. It is all on them. Leave it as it is. Go do something else for a couple hours. Work out. Go for a walk. Go for a swim. You know. I don't know, do something else. The most you can do is log out, then wait for an hour, log back in and give it a try there. But nothing else you do will make a difference because this is all the server. It's all on the patch that is terrible. It's all on CIG. Don't touch anything. Don't clear any. It is all bullshit. Just wait until they fix it and try and try and try again until eventually you get through. That's all you can do as of right now. Then one more super important thing once you get in you will see that the patch is quite terrible. What I mean by that is lots of things are broken in stupid ways. There's a lot of lag, so be extremely patient. And then when it comes to the ships that you actually have, oh, there it is, dying again. So nice, so convenient. Look, one of the things you need to keep in mind is that the larger ships, especially if it has, there you go, if it has a couple, uh, you need uh, small ships. Small ships work better on the quantum drive. The quantum drive on the ones that have several power plants. Two, if it has one power plant only, it's a lot more likely to work than if it has multiple. So smaller ships like the Avenger Titan are a lot more reliable in this disaster of a patch. Guys, you see it right there. I'm not chilling. I'm just calling it as it is. A lot of luck. Take care. See you next time.